everyone and welcome to another screen printing video by Catspit Productions. This is just a little preface to a show video that I'm going to play for you right now. And the reason why I'm prefacing this is because I realized that it is kind of a duplicate of a video I made last year at the show. But this time we actually have the unit that we did the show video about. We actually have one here in the shop. Okay, so we're going to be making some videos with it, but I wanted to point out a couple of things. First of all, in the show video, you'll see this rope that we have here is attached to the right and left side of the vacuum frame and it goes straight across. And we, you know, we thought about that and decided that what we're going to do is attach it to one side and leave the other side loose so that it can go around your artwork instead of over the artwork, you know? So that's one thing that's going to change. And um, I also wanted to show you how it sounds, you know, in the shop when it's quiet, all right? So let me try to do this. I'm going to take this rope here off. And um, there's the touch screen. Let's throw, let's throw a screen on here even though, and I'm going to be careful not to scratch my brand new glass. Whoops, oh boy. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing this winging it handheld here for you. All right, so let's, let's see what it sounds like if you were in your shop. And hopefully the camera won't have too many focusing issues on that black uh, neoprene. So, oh, I clip that, okay. And I don't know what I have it set here for. Let's just, just see the sound. Okay, so, you know, I'm standing right here. How do you like the big cat spit branding sticker? All right, so it's actually very quiet. And instead of the vacuum motor, which whines like a shop vac, you know, it's really quiet. And I don't know if you can see that, if this is focusing, but it really vacuumed down nicely even without the rope. Probably didn't even need the rope, but it's there to assist if you like, because the fact of the matter is, is the screen itself doesn't make an airtight seal to the glass, right? So the rope is, you know, it can help, but it may or may not be necessary. And then now it has a auto release where it's releasing the pressure. And then eventually I should be able to open this up and <clears throat> we have to adjust some of the programming on the, uh, on this here. So we're going to probably make the, the release a little bit longer and stuff like that. So we're fine tuning the programming on this programmable touch screen. All right, so I just wanted to mention those things and give you a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, some audio of the pump in a quiet environment where the microphone, you know, is not right up next to the uh, unit. And please remember that if you're finding Ranar equipment through Catspit Productions, remember I do not work for Ranar. And if you buy direct, if you watch my video and you like their equipment and then you buy direct from Ranar, I get nothing out of that. Okay, so if you want to support me and you like Ranar equipment because you've been watching my videos, then please visit catspitscreenprintsupply.com where you will find the complete line of Ranar screen printing equipment plus a whole lot more. So check it out today and enjoy this clip from the ISS show 2017 in Long Beach, California. All right, so check it out. This is the new Ranar XPO VP series. So what that means is this one has a vacuum pump and it's very quiet. It also has an LED touch screen, which is programmable and now featuring LED proof lights, which are yellow, as you can see. Also, a new feature is the built-in rope that we actually have connected. So you don't have to really mess with it. You just pull it into the center of the screen when you close the top. And if we come around the back of the unit, I can show you that it has the vacuum pump hose. So this little apparatus back here is much more, you know, uh, compressed, less, takes up less space. And that's where the vacuum pump goes into the vacuum frame, of course. And it's very quiet. Okay, so 
let's see if I can actually maybe do this. Okay. There it is. Listen. Okay, so I put the mic right next to the unit. That's, that's as much noise as it's going to make when you're doing screens all day long. And we happen to have it on top of the Renar SD 2331 screen drying cabinet. So you can actually, you can get the 2331 LED VP series with, with legs, you know, so it'll be by itself or you can put it right on top of this drying cabinet. Very cool setup.